Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are doing some dupes. That sounds like a dance. We're doing the dupe. Uh -huh. So hello, welcome, it's Rebecca. Uh, thanks so much for clicking on this video. I know you're just like, I'm just gonna scroll to the description box, see what she lists, and that's that. I know, it's fine. Can you watch for like four minutes or so to get like the algorithm? Okay, so uh, as many of you know, I'm just a huge fan of makeup in general. Yes, I gravitate towards drugstore, but I do purchase high-end, um, maybe even some luxury it's sometimes. If I do dabble in sort of the department store or Sephora or even the right side of the store at Ulta, um, I, I always like to find a more affordable counterpart. Um, I'm just kind of obsessed with it. And in some cases they are not actual, they're not duplicates, but they are close runners up where I think you are going to get the same benefit, the same performance and save, you know, like half the money, right? Okay. So let's get into this. First, I have on my face a number of things and I'm going to give you a side by side so you can see me applying them because I just think that's fun. I, I like, I know I'm not, a, I'm not a great swatcher. I'm not, it's not my forte. Let's start with, I've got a lot of cream products on, the first of which is cream bronzer. And I decided to pick out from my drawer the Tarte C. This is the cream bronzer. It's really great. Um, it's a very beautiful product. It blends nicely. Here, look, I'm gonna swatch it anyway on my dirty hand. It's not dirty, it's makeup dirty. And um, yeah, I really like this, but you know what? I like the Putty Bronzer from e.l.f. It's a slightly sheerer version. So this goes on with a bit more pigment out the gate, whereas this one builds. And I like the texture of the e.l.f. better because it does allow for more building and blending. And I find it to just be a little bit more, um, kind of a softer, it seems to marry better with my skin and my other products. So you can see the difference just like that, but when I'm wearing it on my face, so by the way, Tarte Elf, I just feel like, you know, it's the same. And I don't think you're gonna notice, and I think that you'll be just as happy with the Elf. And you guys, I did, side note, I got my hair cut and I got my roots done. And I, since it's fresh, the, I still have like root, I have like hair dye on my forehead. Um, but it is a very, uh, yeah, she covered that gray really nicely, but it just looks very uh, strong. So I just wanna let you know, but I did nothing here. This is all the same kind of highlights bleached action. So it's not that different, but it really does look a lot different from uh, the last few videos of mine. Just thought I'd share. Okay, so I know there's there's some redundancy here. It doesn't mean you have to wear all these products. I was just demonstrating. Okay, so then this is kind of funny because I actually don't like these products, but I thought I would show them to you as dupes. <laughs> and so if you like them, if you're interested, you can see for yourself. And um, yeah, so this first one, the high end version, is the iconic London. This is the. Uh, liquid bronzer, it's like a liquid skin tint. I have shade, uh, sheer bronze. I just don't think there's anything to this. It is so sheer. It, it just doesn't have enough pigment or shade payoff for me, but I can see the benefit. I just don't want to bother. So then when I discovered the NYX uh, serums, bear with me, cheek serums, this one in tan bronze, I'm like, oh wow, it's kind of the same. So if you wanna spread nothing on your skin for $10 instead of 20 some dollars, you know, go to the NYX. Yeah, liquid blush and, <sighs> Have I done this one before? It felt familiar. I was having like deja vu when I was doing it. Okay, Rare Beauty, this is their cream blush in love. And I do realize that there is a different formula. So I think my the finishes on these products might not be duplicated, but you'll see where I'm going with this. Okay, so Rare Beauty Liquid Blush in the shade Love. 
and you can see it's quite the like rusty rusty bronze rusty rusty rust um yeah it's it's a little like woo you know and it does kind of dry down to a matte and it's very pigmented i prefer the flower balm well flower beauty blush balms and this shade is in nectar nectar Every time I say nectar, because like I make the hummingbird nectar with the sugar and water, and then I put it out and I go, hello, Dr. Lecter. It's your nectar. I just, I have to do my Clary Starling voice. It's not very good, but Dr. Lecter, Dr. Lecter. I, I annoy my family. Okay. Um, so this is definitely a slightly different shade. I mean, we're still in the same family of kind of a, a yellow, orangey, orangey kind of gingery <laughs> uh, shade. And this, I think, spreads more evenly. It's not, it's not luminous and it's not matte. It's just kind of in between. And I just think it feels so much better on my cheek. And I just, I prefer it. So that that's my take on that. But I know those Rare Beauty blushes are very popular, but I think these are better. I find the Marc Jacobs Omega Bronzer to be so good. Um, this is the shade Tantastic. Sometimes you can find these at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. Um, I have another one around here somewhere. I don't know. Sometimes they have the white packaging, sometimes the black. It's sort of a it's sort of a collection situation, but I believe that the bronze product is pretty much the same. Love the large pan size. Love the formula. It's like a nice satiny, neither luminous nor matte. It just feels really good. J Lo wears it. You know, it's it's beautiful. Um, and actually, I think it's kind of worth it. But if you really don't want to plunge for that thirty some dollars, go to Revolution. You know, <laughs> join the Revolution. Um, this uh, mega bronzer same giant pan right i mean that you know what how about we hold them side by side rebecca how about that um i mean look it looks very different on camera but honestly once you apply this and once you swatch the two they're not that different and in terms of this one has a very similar finish it's soft it's satin compared to the Marc Jacobs. It wears just as well. It's a soft blend. Um, the Laura Mercier Candle Glow Powder is so gorgeous. This is, oh, it's so pretty. And this is shade 01. It is soft and slightly radiant. It's so pretty. I actually have some self tanner on here, so it's kind of, I wonder if it's gonna show more. It's just such a soft, um, you know, it's like just, oh, look, it's making you glow, but it's not like highlight. And it's kind of a baked product. Okay, Winky Lux, this is 20 bucks at Target. Their Diamond Glow, or Diamond Powder in a Girl's Best Friend, this is actually shade medium, obviously very different, um, as you see. Hang on. Like that's, you know, I understand, not identical. Okay, but this oh, just soft, glowing powder. You know, it's just like this nice finishing powder that um, looks really just a, a, a subtle radiance. Looks, I mean, we are talking Emilio. This is such an Emilio non-sheen and you know, I'm, I mean, it, I love this. I love this. And um, so I love both. But do you see like both my face is just looks alive and fresh and I really like it. Um, but you don't have to spend the Laura Mercier price tag. Okay. I'm obsessed with the Kosas Airbrow. I really, really enjoy this. I love how the shade is. It's kind of a cool, a cool blonde kind of taupey thing going on. I love that it doesn't get, you know, gooey or gummy. Um, and it's great. And Kosas is actually for Sephora, it's not terribly expensive, 
but if you really wanted to go drugstore and still get a very similar effect, this Maybelline uh, Brow Fast Sculpt, I am starting to really enjoy. The brush is nice and short, like most brow gel brushes are. I recommend for both these products to wipe away the excess from the brush before you apply it, just because this way it gives you a little more control and you don't get that one glob right away. Uh, but this shade in the taupe brown or soft brown is so similar to this shade and in terms of for me, uh, right? And um, I just, I think the, the finish is, is the same. You get the same results. It does a beautiful job combing through the brow, filling them in, but not making them too crusty or <laughs> or caterpillary and I like them. I like I like this. Lips, I am going to take a, a little bit of a mulligan for this, I suppose. I don't know. I don't think right now you can really see a difference, but I will admit that the lip combination I'm wearing is kind of a stretch, but hear me out because um, I like the affordable version a lot and so that's why I want to kind of show you what you can do without spending, you know, $50 on a lip combo, you can spend $30, right? Which is still a lot. Like we're not talking this is cheap, cheap, but okay. So the Natasha Denona, I need a nude lip liner. Love, love this formula. Um, I love the shade selection that you can get so many varieties of nude for different skin types, skin shades, so that you're not looking washed out or dead. You know, so it doesn't look like you stuck liver on your lips. This is shade Julia, number three, Julia. Then my drugstore latest obsession is the Jason Wu Makeup for Target. And I really love this Stay In Line lip pencil. It is similar to the Natasha Denona in that you sharpen it. It's creamy and pigmented and long wearing, and it is a variety of nude shades. I think it doesn't go, the, the shade selection is not as vast and it doesn't go as deep as the Natasha Denona. And that's what I realized is that this one, <laughs> you can see like Natasha Denona darker than the Jason Wu, but it's still a really good selection of nude lip liners. And then you don't need to buy a Shantikai expensive lip tint thingy, which is beautiful by the way. This was sent to me and it's the shade Beach Rose, I think. And I mean, it's gorgeous and it's Shantikai and we love it. And um, yeah, but you know, for half the price or I don't know, a fraction of the price, the Jouer, these guys, you can get them on Beautylish, you can get them on the Jouer website and I have a discount code, you can get them on Sephora. So if you ever have like a coupon or whatever, or you know, it's one of the VIB, <laughs> they don't give coupons at Sephora. <laughs> this shade is rose and it is just so pretty. And I actually like, so the two combined here kind of fake you out because the Chantecaille is more sheer than the Jouer. The Jouer has more pigment. It's just as moisturizing and I feel like it has a better shade, it, like a payoff in terms of what's on your lips and how long it lasts. Okay. <sighs> Remember when I said that I really, really thought I was convinced that I could dupe the Charlotte Tilbury Tainted Lip. I got close and I went with my hunch that the K-Beauty, there would be a lip and cheek stain similar and I think I pretty much got it. It's slightly different um, and you know, I will say, I mean, sometimes for some K-Beauty is not as accessible, not that Charlotte Tilbury is, but are more accessible, but I was going through and I'm like, I was swatching all of my stains. And I think actually what I found was they were all more pigmented than the Charlotte Tilbury. So if you want a stain that's sheer, I guess go with Charlotte. I will say this though, the Charlotte 
wore off my lips pretty quickly. So maybe a few hours, definitely by the time I was done eating lunch, you know, it was pretty much gone. So Tainted Love in, what is this, Off the Chain or something, Love Chain. I'm gonna put it right here for you. All right, so here is that. So sheer, kind of reddish. Okay. Then, ha uh ha, -huh, the Peri Para, which is available, Yes Style, Style Vanna, Amazon. And is it on Ulta? No, I feel like there was someone else. So this one is shade, is this shade five? I need to make sure. So this is their ink. It's the Peri Ink Velvet. They've had these for a long time. Uh, so as you can see, it is a lot more pigmented than the Charlotte, but it actually, it, when you spread it out and it's a stain and you actually don't need to build it. The Charlotte one, you kind of need to build up. And then this one is like done. Uh, so I guess, you know, it's hard. It's hard to know what texture you like and how things wear and clearly the shade is a little bit more more got a pink like a cherry pink pop and then this is more got like a coral undertone but I thought I would show you that okay then, thank you so much I hope that was helpful and fun I hope you watched it and didn't just skip ahead <laughs> But I will have everything in the description box, and if there are links or discount codes, I will have those too. Always know that if you purchase from any, uh, so some of them, not all of them, but some of them, I do sometimes get a commission. So it's like 50 cents here or something there, and it's nice. It helps support my channel, and then I could just turn it around and <laughs> buy more makeup to review. So I hope you subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and... Take care. I'll see you next time. Bye.